I found the nine best skills you need to know according to LinkedIn to land just about any job you want right now. Most of these skills do not require a college degree or previous experience. And one of the skills on this list is gonna make you more money than an ATM machine. Damn, okay. Now LinkedIn has access to a ton of backend data that we don't. So if they say these skills are highly in demand, you definitely wanna to listen to them. First one on the list is going to be social media. Now they have this as a general skill, of course, but there's a lot of different sub skills under this. There's a lot of different social media platforms. You have YouTube, blogs, Instagram, podcasts, Twitter, etc. There's also a lot of different positions you can get into within social media. So for instance, one I've talked about on this channel is content writing, a uh, really big gap in the market right now is finding really good script writers for YouTube. Another one you might get into is social media manager. And that's where you would be managing the social media for a large brand. Typically social media managers, according to Glassdoor, make about $52,000 a year. And if you look on LinkedIn, you type in the keyword social media, you are going to see 317,000 job posts at the entry level that have that as a keyword. So yeah, overall, a lot of opportunity here can be really good. I'll give this one an eight out of 10. Next one on the list is surprise and it's customer service. Now I will say there are a ton of customer service jobs out there. They aren't always the most desirable ones, but they are relatively easy for you to land. And just about every business out there, whether it's a big one or a small one, is going to have some sort of customer service representative role. Now typically these positions are a little bit lower paying, but you can move into other positions, especially in certain companies. Like if you work in the technology industry and you work for a B2B company, you can move into positions that are much higher paying. So Glassdoor has the entry level customer service representatives making about $37,000 a year. And there are 861,000 results. So the good thing about this one is it is super, super easy for you to get into. And if you're somebody who has an accent from a first world country, like the United States, Canada, uh, Great Britain, or Australia, you do have a big advantage here. This is also one that's very easy to do remotely. So that saves you a lot of time, effort, and money as well. And some people do want to work a remote job. And I think this is one of those jobs where if you really needed to just get any job in one month, this could be one you could land relatively quickly. So overall, I'll give this one six out of 10 when it comes to the money score. Next one on the list is going to be sales. So this is the most common job that billionaires and millionaires Millionaires have in their past. Just about all billionaires out there and a lot of the millionaires started off with a sales job. So this is one of those meta skills that is going to help you for the rest of your life, no matter what you end up doing. Now, there are a ton of different sales related jobs out there. Some of them pay much better than others. I typically recommend you go into an industry that's growing really fast. So it's a booming industry. And you also try to sell what's known as high ticket products. So that means if you make one sale, you might end up making 10,000 or even more dollars just from a single product. So tech sales is the one I talk about quite a bit on this channel. That is a B2B sales position. And so if you help your company land one contract, for instance, you know, it might be a million or a $2 million contract, and you're going to get a certain percentage of that. But salespeople in general make about $77,000 a year. And there are 573,000 results when you type in sales on LinkedIn. So this one is going to get 10 out of 10 for the money score. Next one on the list is finance. So finance related skills can be incredibly valuable. I will say that a lot of the time, if you want to go into the finance industry, you do want to be aware that you're going to be working a lot, right? It is a high pressure type industry. Typically people who like to work 60 plus hours a week are going to be the ones who do much better. So if you are that type of person, this one can be really good. But if you're not that type of person, I'd probably avoid it. But yeah, I mean, you just have so many opportunities here. There's uh, venture capital, investment banking, you can work for a hedge fund, you can work for private equity, there's so many different options. Now, if you just type in the keyword finance, when it comes to salary on Glassdoor, you're going to see $96,000 a year. And if you type in finance on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're going to see 184,000 results. So this one does get 10 out of 10. But there is that caveat that you know, you're going to have to work really hard if you go into finance. Next one on the list is closely related, but it's different, of course, and that is is accounting. So there are a ton of different jobs you can go into in accounting. Of course, there's different types of accountants, but there are many different jobs you can move into that you probably have never even heard of unless you've really been studying this, such as a financial controller. And if you type in accounting on Glassdoor, you're going to see they make about $54,000 a year. And if you type in accounting on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're going to see 175,000 results. So this one overall is going to get an eight out of 10 for the money score. Next on the list is going to be D 
digital marketing. And this is one I've talked about quite a bit on this channel. I would say out of all the skills, this one is kind of tied for number one with sales for being the most valuable skill you could possibly learn. And the reason for that, same as sales, is it pretty much does not matter what career path you end up going down in your life learning these skills are going to help you no matter what. So there are SEO specialists, email marketers, social media managers, pay-per-click specialists. There's a lot of different career paths you can go down in digital marketing. If you haven't checked it out already, definitely check out my friend Seth's free digital marketing masterclass. I'll link it down in the description and the pinned comment below. He basically goes over all the different career paths you can go down and which one might be the best for you. But yeah, according to Glassdoor, digital marketing makes about $61,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 60 65,000 results at the entry level. This one overall, when it comes to the money score is going to get a nine out of 10. Next one on the list is business development. And business development is basically the processes and functions that develop and implement opportunities of growth between two different organizations. So essentially what this is, is you have a company that is a B2B type company and they look for other organizations that need help with their technical or infrastructure services. So for instance, another organization might be having a lot of trouble with something and this B2B company will come in and actually solve it with some sort of software. And then if they notice there's a bunch of other companies out there that are having the same exact problem, they might go and do that for them as well. So this requires a deep level of understanding not only for the business processes, but also the technology side of things and you have to be good at selling basically. But business development isn't just about selling, a lot of it is about prospecting, so getting good leads, finding the right companies, nurturing those prospects and then finally you know once you've established that they have a need that your company can take care of then you can start selling to them so when you type in business development on Glassdoor you're gonna see $95,000 a year and if you type in business development on LinkedIn at the entry level you're gonna see 173,000 results next one on the list is going to be SQL SQL stands for structured query language and basically this lets you use access and manipulate databases and this is very important for the storage and return retrieval of data. And I've talked a lot on this channel about how valuable data is. So it's interesting that LinkedIn actually picked SQL specifically rather than just saying data analysis. That tells me that there were a lot of job postings that had SQL in the job description. So if you type in the keyword SQL into Glassdoor, you're gonna see $109,000 a year. And if you type in that same keyword on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 358,000 results. So clearly SQL is a super valuable skill that you should absolutely learn. So this one gets a 10 out of 10 when it comes to the money score. Next one on the list is engineering. And this is one of the best college degrees you can possibly get. And this is basically the application of science and math in order to figure out complex problems in the real world. Now, in the last 40 years, engineering was the degree that created the most millionaires. So if you are going to get a degree, this would definitely be one to look into. But I will say engineering is super difficult. But that being said, looking on Glassdoor, you're going to see they're making about $89,000 a year. And if you type in the keyword engineering on LinkedIn at the entry level, you are going to see 441,000 results. So overall, I'm going to give this one a money score of nine out of 10. Now, when it comes to soft skills, LinkedIn had a list of six that were the most important. So these were the soft skills that they saw over and over in the job descriptions. The first soft skill was leadership, and this absolutely makes sense. Uh, it's very difficult to find good leaders. The second soft skill is communication, also makes sense. Uh, communication is super important. The third one on the list is problem solving, and I can definitely agree with that. It is essential that people get good at problem solving uh, if they wanna give value to their company. The fourth one is closely related to leadership, and that is management. The fifth one is time management, so that could be very important as well. And the sixth one is strategy. If you're somebody who is very good at strategy, that can be incredibly valuable to a company. Check this video out right here. I made it just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And I will see you next time.